I'm at the Sand Hills Children's Garden where there are butterflies flying all around me. And that is because of open facing flowers like these marigolds here. Richland County Urban Horticulture agent Jackie Jordan says this is important for the now endangered monarch butterflies. Once they become a caterpillar and go through metamorphosis and hatch as a butterfly, they need things that provide pollen sources. That includes plants like zinnias and marigolds. Jordan says the butterflies need two kinds of plants, flowers to get pollen from, and a place to lay larvae. The larvae host plant that monarchs need is called milkweed. Clay Parker is a local gardener. He grows milkweed and says he has given out hundreds of plants to his neighbors, which he says is crucial to helping monarch caterpillars. They can't go to an oak tree or a magnolia tree or a hibiscus or anything like that. They have to find milkweed. Now that monarch butterflies are officially endangered and disappearing, anyone can help. The way we help them is provide the plant that their caterpillars need to eat. If a homeowner wants to do something about it, they don't have to put in a huge garden. It's a matter of just putting in a few plants. You plant them about a half inch deep. Arlene Martirano is the director of South Carolina Garden Based Learning Network. She brought some milkweed seeds here to WLTX and planted them in Gandy's garden. I call it baby food for butterflies. <laughs> now we have milkweed here in Gandy's garden. If you want to plant milkweed of your own, Parker says you can contact South Carolina Wildlife Federation, South Carolina Native Plant Society, or even your local nursery. Reporting in Columbia, Sam Perez, News 19, WLTX.